Dan Tomaso. Well, speaking of a bit of a milder day today, it's been mild pretty much since the beginning of 2023. I mean, we've had some cold spells here and there, and yesterday was slightly on the cooler side. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, especially mm. compared to the day before. Correct. When we were in the upper 70s in some spots today, kind of the in between day. It's not going to be as cold as the mid 50s all day long, but it's not going to be as warm as the mid 70s either. Here's Boiling Springs and still a fair amount of cloud cover just kind of sitting over top. And really when we're talking about this area and the Cumberland Valley, still some lingering clouds, even a couple of showers there over parts of Southern Franklin County. So right there, kind of the remnants of this line of showers to pass on by. Otherwise, a lot of this rain did fade as it moved through, but it was just enough moisture, just enough cloud cover to kind of keep things stable outside. Temperatures didn't increase in a hurry where there wasn't as much rain and clouds. Look at this Baltimore 72 degrees. It is just south of the state line where we're seeing this warm surge happening. So I think we just miss out on the 70 degree weather, but I do think before the afternoon is over, we get into the middle and upper 60s for a lot of us. The almanac for yesterday, there's the high of 57 right on par with average, the low of 41. So not as cold at night thanks to the clouds and the showers. But here's another live view from Marysville and still seeing some of those clouds looking southeast across the area. Temperatures will climb middle to upper 60s for most of us. Some over the northern tier could be stuck in the 50s today, but I think a lot of us at least have the chance of 60 degree weather and then it cools off later tonight and temperatures ultimately end up in the 40s again. Get used to that though, because not only at night will be cooler, we're also seeing cooler weather during the day upcoming and it's because of this cool air mass behind this next front. So while we're not seeing much rain with these fronts, they are making a difference temperature wise. So here's the rest of today. Any leftover shower activity continues to sink south and east. We clear out through later tonight, but then clouds do make a return quickly for tomorrow morning. Maybe a lingering shower or two, but again, any leftover moisture will just kind of keep things cooler. We're not talking about substantial amounts of rain, but just light rain, damp air to start out Friday before more clearing. And by the weekend, we're back to all sunshine. Saturday and Sunday feature all sun. Not much going on in the forecast other than cool air settling in and seeing a prolonged period here where temperatures are going to be closer to average or slightly below. Looking at a lot of low 50s for highs, temperatures at night in the 30s. Pretty chilly morning there, Sunday morning and again Monday morning. But I added a little trend arrow there at the end of the seven day forecast, James, mm -hmm. because some middle to upper 60s are possible. The end of Wednesday into Thursday, this warm air starts to stream back in. So I think the second half of next week is going to end up being milder than the 50s. Oh, right back up again. Yep, right back up again. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Okay, I noticed. Since I don't come on the show tomorrow, I just thought I'd make sure everybody knows. All right, I appreciate it, Dan. Yep. Thank you. Up next, if you have